Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI 30X Plus Math Print Student Course. In this lesson, we will be covering answer toggle. The answer toggle button allows you to display results when possible between fraction and decimal answers, third and decimal answers, and multiples of pi and decimal answers. Try this example of the square root of 17 squared minus 7 squared. The answer is given to us in the third form of 4 root 15. Tap the answer toggle button and it converts to a decimal form now. Tap again to convert back to third form. How about decimal to fractions now? Let's explore 0 0.3, answer toggle, enter. And as we can see, it gives us the fraction form. Let's try 0 0.33, answer toggle, enter. Still works, gives us a fraction form of 33 over 100. Let's go a step further. Try in 0 0.333, answer toggle, and enter. Still gives us a fraction form. Let's try another step further. Let's try doing 0 0.3333. Answer toggle and enter. In this case, will not give us the decimal, uh, the fraction form, sorry, as the denominator has exceeded 1000. Let's try a very long example. Let's try 0 0.3, many threes now. So we have 12 threes, answer toggle, and enter. As we can see here, this will now convert to a fraction of one third as the calculate approximates this to one third. Similarly, we'll do a different example of different numbers now, like so. And as we can see here, with a very long recurring decimal such as this one here, the calculator approximates this to 13 over 99. The answer toggle key works really well for finding trigonometric exact values, such as sine 45, which gives us root 2 of 2, a nice third form. Just note though that search decimal approximation works, however, the converse does not. So, for example, if we do root 2 divided by 2, and we want to get that decimal form there, as we can see. It tells us the decimal form of the first few decimal places. Let's, for example, re round that to 0 0.707106781165. If we answer toggle back, we can see that it will not revert back to the root 2 of 2. The last example is with multiples of pi. So let's try looking at 2 pi, 2 pi plus 3 pi 
and this gives us 5 pi. And we can toggle back and forth from exact answer to its decimal form as shown. That's it for this lesson. Thank you.